Today, we are gonna go over Yae Miko Weapon Tier List for Genshin Impact 2.5. For this tier list, I am gonna rank the Catalyst based on the numbers in beta and also taking into account affordability, meaning weapons that are free to play and affordable might be ranked a little higher than what the numbers say. No lie, the numbers are taken from beta, so some of these weapons might be subject to change. It's basically an early analysis. So starting off with D-tier weapons, since Yayamiko's kit revolve around her elemental skill and burst, catalysts such as Frostbearer is not a good fit for Yaya. It's too party specific since enemies need to be tagged with Cryro. Royal Grimoire is just a bad catalyst in my opinion, don't get it. Also, I'm gonna put every D-star catalyst in D-tier, because if you're pulling for Yaya, you should get her a decent catalyst, and it will be better and affordable catalyst in my upper tiers, so use those instead. Dueling Tails, Yae won't do any damage. Emerald Orb, pretty bad weapon passive. Everlasting Moon Glow, HP substats and pretty useless weapon passive for Yae. Don't put the donut on Yae, please. For C tier weapons, Eye of Perception is mediocre. Attack percent substats and okay passive. Wine and Song have energy recharge substats and a passive that focuses on normal attacks. Prototype Ember have HP substats and a passive that is much preferred on someone else. The last weapon on my C tier is Total Cold Tails. It's really only a C tier because it's free, but I wouldn't use this weapon on Yae unless you use charge attacks in your rotation. Moving on to B tier, Mappa Mare is our first catalyst. Good substats and weapon passive, but you need to run a reaction comp. Feminist Codex is interesting because right now we don't know if Yae will have energy issues or not. If it turns out that she does indeed have energy issues, then this weapon might be a great choice and will be rated higher in my opinion. Sacrificial Fragments have Elemental Mastery substats and a pretty good passive. Decent choice for Yai if you don't have anything else. Lastly, Hakushin Ring is a pretty niche weapon, Energy Recharge substats, and a decent party buff for its passive. Next up for Yai's A tier weapons, the first weapon is gonna be Solar Pearl. Crit rate substats is good and the weapon passive is really strong. However, you'll need to add a normal attack into your rotation. Downside is it's not free. Backcliff Agate is really good. Crit damage substat is a very good stat on Yae because her ascension stat is crit rate. The weapon passive is great if you are dealing with multiple enemies. At R5, with stacks, it belongs in S tier, but overall it's an above average catalyst that you can get from the shop. There's also going to be a new catalyst called the Oathsworn Eye that you can get for free in the future. It gives 48% energy recharge at R5 from the weapon passive, so you can focus on other stats. A budget option for Yae if you are going for like a 4 piece emblem on her or something. The final weapon I'm gonna put on A tier is Lost Prayer. Crit rate substats with a good passive, but unless Yae stays on the field for a long time, she won't get max stacks. Next, for S tier weapons, the first catalyst on the list is Skyward Atlas. This weapon is one of the most versatile catalysts in my opinion. Really high base attack and strong weapon passive. Attack percent substats to boost. Yae Miko will hit like a truck. Memory of Dust is another strong catalyst, but needs shields for the passive to work. A 4 star catalyst on my S tier is the Wisif. Crit damage substats which is huge for Yae, along with a weapon passive that gives a random buff. Yae can utilize all 3 buffs as well. Very strong weapon for Yae and in my opinion, can outshine most of the 5 star catalysts, especially if you have this weapon at R5. The Wisif will make Yae Miko a prominent force on your team for sure. For our final tier, SS tier, the one and only weapon is Kagura's Verity. This weapon is Yae's signature weapon, so if you have lots of primo gems and you don't have Atlas or Wisif, or you plan on throwing a lot of primo gems, this weapon is Yae's best in slot. Crit damage substats with an insane weapon passive that is perfect fit for Yae Miko. Kagura's Verity have the highest potential and will maximize Yae Miko's playstyle the most. And of course, I'm gonna put a Grand Fox Yae Miko herself as SS. Thanks for watching this video, and do you agree or disagree with my tier list? Feel free to make your own tier list in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, and I'll see you later.